Dr. Bisa Ejeta, Distinguished Professor of Plant Breeding and Genetics and International Agriculture at Purdue University. Food insecurity emergency arose as a result of a confluence of several shocks that fell on humanity one after another in the last few years. And these include climate change effects, such as severe changes in weather that led to frequent drought, floods, and also associated effects of pest diseases and locusts that made food farming and food production very difficult and untenable, particularly in the tropical part of the world. The conflict that came up in several regions, including the war in Ukraine by Russia that blocked food supplies from there, and exasperating food shortages around the world, increasing prices uh, in many parts of the corner, particularly in corners of the world that relied on importations of cereal seeds, oil seeds, gas, fertilizers from Russia and, and Ukraine. These have created significant bottlenecks in many parts of the world, raising the emergency crisis on food. The disproportionately large number of groups of poor reside in the developing countries of Asia and Africa. I think it behooves the multinational, multilateral financing organizations and the wealthy nations of the world to consider to scale up um, their support and services to, to provide emergency food aid in the short term, but at the same time supplement that with a follow-up of development and technical assistance to help local food production get initiated so that the recurrence of hunger would not repeat itself in some of these places. Because of my serious concern about events in developing countries, I think one thing that really needs to take place is maybe raising the clamor a lot more about the concerns of the poor in developing countries. Because I think the developed world of late have been more inward looking and because of the problems locally and they may have forgotten the concerns of the poor as broadly as they would have normally. And so that's very important.